So we're back out in the river. We uh, still have not gotten any rain. So here we are. We got Joseph back with us again. We got Jason's sister Danielle with us. Jason popped two bottles, which he is usually good for right off the bat. He's cleaning one up right now while he's doing that. Here's the other one he found. Not sure how old it is, but I mean, it is pretty cool. Got a nice little design on it. And I, I was uh, just saying too bad this wasn't intact because this one says Homer California Ginger Brand. Ginger Brandy, my bad. That's cool. Too bad that ain't intact. So what's your Norca something from Akron, Ohio, which is the same on that bottle. It's just I'm embossed on the bottom of that bottle. That's wicked cool, dude. But uh, yeah, I might keep this one. Cool, you're fine. So uh, Ian was upstream. I just called him. I I found an old medicine bottle. It was all dirty brown. Um, I actually cleaned it up and I put it right back where I found it. And this is exactly how it was found, oh, sitting in the same position. Sweet. But this is a, gonna be a pharmacist bottle, uh, Bromo Seltzer, Emerson Drug Company, Baltimore, Maryland. That is wicked. We'll see if we can get this in the sun, dude. I don't know. If, I don't know if that'll show it. That is awesome, dude. Awesome. So Ian just said he found an old, older bottle. He thinks it might be an ink well. Where's it at? Is it screw top? Listerine. Oh, old Listerine bottle. That's another Emerson, dude. Not blue like yours, but. Oh, that's an older screw top. Yeah. Uh, actually, dude, I think it is. Yeah, it's blue. Is it just that dirty? Yeah, it's another Bromo Seltzer bottle. It's not as old as the one I found, but definitely old. Okay, well, I'll keep it because that's the first blue bottle I have. So I just, just spotted a cool little bottle down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're going to go underwater. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Like an olive oil bottle or something. Oh, that's sweet, dude. That's awesome. No, uh, no markings on it or anything, but cool nonetheless. Cool, kind of generic, but so I'm wondering. I think I found a little fleck of gold in this rock. Um, I know people pan for gold down here, so obviously they find it. Um, but yeah, I actually spotted it under the water. It looked like gold. Bling! Um, it's crazy. Huh. I mean, I, I, it could be just a flake of rock broke off a certain way, but I, I, I don't know. I think that's a small flake of gold. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Be like, that dude's an idiot. That ain't no gold. Pretty go good with me. But, uh, yeah, I think that's what it is. So, uh, I found this one a little while ago. Jay's pissed off. But, uh, it dried out. It's pretty cool, man. It says three cent deposit on it. This bottle property of Dairy Corporation Container, something like that. Detroit, Michigan. Sweet. I used to be the milk bottle king. That's better than any milk bottle I've ever Click my hair. So I got a bottle here. Jason says he's got a couple. We're going to go check them out. Huh. Mine's kind of cool. I don't know how it's going to work. 
golden age. So I'm going to hike up here to Jay. Oh, there's some more right here. Hold on, Jay. Oh, this is a good spot. One in particular. I found one of these last week. Uh, this has got some embossment. I'll have to clean this one up. Right now I'm just setting them down. So we got a nice little hot spot right here. Jay said he found a bottle. I'm making my way over there. Found this big ass bone. Here, I got my goggles. Oh, oh yeah, that's a nice one, Jay. Easy to clean up too. Nice, dude. Schumacher or or something. Schumelbach Brewing Company. Wheeling, West Virginia. Cool, good find. Exactly. So Jay told me to put my goggles on and scan this. You can probably see it. We're gonna go down. I don't know what that is. Probably just like a water tag, but that is a tag. Danielle found a sweet bottle. Jay's cleaning it up right now. I've never seen a bottle. Uh uh, not like that. That, narrow. that is tiny. I don't know if she's cleaning it out. My grandma found it. That is cool, man. Good find. Well, she was way back there. Good find, though. So, all I heard from Ian was Jay grabbed the camera. I hope this is intact. It's a kind of a unique twist. Let's hold this up. Um, oh wow, what is that? Hold on. This says something Paris on it. This is obviously an old bottle top. And uh, this might be some sort of stopper. Uh, I think I'm probably going to break the bottle to get the stopper out. I mean, it's already broken, so. Um, and then Ian just eyeballed that, whatever that is. So my nephew, I just sent him to get the one drink he brought for four of us. Um, because I'm dying of thirst. Because I'm fat and it takes a lot of energy to walk up and down the river. So I was lamenting to uh, Ian. We are just talking about all the big broken milk jug bottles. I just tossed one up there. Here's another one. I looked over and I'm like, damn, there's another one. Massively big one. You know, pretty ornate. But then laying right in front of it. that and that is not broken. 
is there anything on it? Let's see. I don't see anything on it. I don't necessarily know that that's doesn't really look like a cork bottom, but it's not threaded. At any rate, there it is. So, Ian, we were waiting for my nephew to run and go grab some Gatorade for us. Um, and Ian was tooling around, had a signal. And, uh, old sleigh maker lock. You know, old lock. Pretty That's awesome. Yeah, this was the this was the area of the river where uh, I don't know what it was two years ago or whatever. I was going through here with the pulse dive and I was finding all kinds of old stuff. So there it is. Good job, dude. So <clears throat> Ian was saying, "Oh, hey, I found a square nail." I'm like, "Oh, cool." Now we're off the river. Look at that. That's the inner lock. That'd be the lock part that would slide into a door. It's got writing and stuff in it. That's pretty neat. Um, might be uh, might be a candidate for some electrolysis, but uh, pretty cool find. So I got a '70s high beam here. So we're gonna. Attempt a live dig. Live dig. Take 5,000. Right underneath. Oh, dude. <laughs> this looks like a uh, civil war. My arm is killing me. Oh. Yeah, for sure. That's, you, you can, can see, see the, the, the mold mark. Yep. I like buckshot. It's weird. It hit something, but you can see the mold mark on it. Yeah. Sweet. Man. So, my sister just sent a couple bottles with my nephew over here. And he was walking up to set them over here, and he... I found that little thing right over here. He just eyeballed that little medicine bottle. Good job, dude. I just found this monogrammed powder looking something or other. It's going to clean up good. Nice find, dude. Thank you. I don't know what it says, but you can see kind of the holes going through it. Sweet. So I'm just putzing around with the uh, pulse dive. Put this up out of a rock, so. That would have sucked. Drop the pulse dive. So that almost looks like uh, something that would go on a filing cabinet or a mailbox or something. So that's pretty cool. Well, everyone, this is our wrap up. It's raining, so the GoPro is still in the case. So just like the last video, all the pictures will be seen at the end. This is my stuff here. Uh, I did a little bit of metal detecting today. Um, did some pretty good on bottles. I'm going to take this to work. This platter and sandblast it and see how it comes out. It's going to punch holes in it. Yeah, probably. Uh, Jay, you want to do yours? Yeah. So, <clears throat> we had a few things here. This was the, here's was that bottle stopper I found. I had the bottle around it and I busted the bottle out. I got a rock with a crazy ass hole in it. I don't know if somebody drilled it out for a sinker, maybe. I did get my rock with the gold fleck. You should should be able to see it. It pops. Um, the Corbin door lock. I had a couple weeds. I had a bunch more changed, but you know, I threw it. this guy, Viva La Metal Detectorist, and kept chucking my pennies out in the water again weighing me down um but i got the blue embossed bottle i got a nice one on the walking out the river but unfortunately it's got a crack in it um but for now it's a whole bottle 
I got the Schmulbach, whatever, brewing, and a few others. Um, my little nephew Jess, Joseph found the uh, stopper. I think his coolest bottle was um, this little medicine bottle. He got the ice cream spoon, every modern beer bottle, and vanilla extract bottle in the river. But they're cool anyways, right buddy? Yep. Um, this, um, from the Akron Brewing Company, Ian and I have found several of these. You guys might recognize this logo. None of mine have had any of this on the back. Ian's bottled beer. But that just pops on there. It's a good good find. I think my sister's oldest bottle is this. Um, I'm assuming that this is some sort of medicine or elixir bo bottle. I don't think it'd be a whiskey bottle with the neck being that narrow, but there's no embossment on it, just a number on the bottom. Tell them so. about the phone that you found. Yeah, and we found a few phones. A few other mis miscellaneous bottles, but uh, that was our hunt. That's kind of the bottle board, metal detecting board. Have no idea what we're doing next weekend. We got rain. Keep it up. We'll be back out in the yards. If not, we'll be back out here in the river.